In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the inner workings of your camera. Those sort of behind the scenes aspects that you don't see with your own eyes, but are fundamental to creating a good picture. Now, have you ever seen your photos a bit too dark or maybe they're a little bit too bright? These are functions or aspects of exposure. And in this video, we're going to go through three fundamental parameters or aspects of the camera that allow exposure to happen. Hope you enjoy this video, and let's begin. Light is fundamental to photography. A camera relies on exposure to create an image. And what that means is a certain amount of light is allowed into the camera to create the image, either a lot of light or a small amount of light. This is what exposure means. Therefore, some images will be darker than others, some will be brighter. Exposure is based entirely on the volume or amount of light that can go through your lens into your camera to form an image. Now the term exposure triangle is based on a sort of a triangle design where ISO, shutter, and aperture are all combining to create the proper exposure. Let's talk about the exposure triangle and each one of these three elements and how they work to create a good image. One of the three points on the exposure triangle is called aperture. Now, with regards to a camera lens, an aperture is sort of like a, a little metal washer that's inside a lens. And that little washer can get large or small depending on how much light you want to get into the camera. So think of it with my, my hand here. A small opening would allow for a small amount of light, but a large opening would allow for a large amount of light. When a lot of light can come into your lens, you get a very bright picture. When only a small amount of light can get in because of a small aperture opening, then you're gonna get a darker picture. Now inside a lens, you have little aperture blades that are composed in a circular design. And these aperture blades open and close to allow this certain amount of light that you want to get your perfect exposure. Now the second part of the exposure triangle is called shutter. You've probably heard of this before. Now, as the aperture is in the lens, the shutter is in the camera. You can think of a shutter as an opening or closing window or a gate, and this opening and closing allows a certain amount of light into your camera. Now, when your shutter opens and closes very fast, only a small amount of light can get into your camera which gives you a potentially darker picture. However, if that opening and closing is slower, more light is allowed into your camera to create a potentially brighter picture. Think of it as the shutters in an old English home. These shutters on the window are open when it's a nice day, but when there's a storm, the house owners close them. Closed shutters make your bedroom dark. Open shutters make your bedroom bright. So the shutter is the second part of the exposure triangle. Up next, ISO. ISO is light sensitivity. Now what this refers to is your camera sensor being able to adjust the ability to increase the light or decrease the light based on how bright or how dark your environment is. ISO is purely a digital functionality, whereas the aperture and the shutter, uh, we call them analog situations, where they can open and close to allow a darker or brighter situation. ISO is digital, it's part of the sensor. If you're in a dark environment, ISO will increase or light sensitivity will increase to allow you to take a good, sharp picture in a dark environment. 
Let me give you an example. When you bought film at the local drugstore or camera store, you had the option of 100, 200, 400, or 800 ISO speed film. And you may recall on those packages, 100 speed film was great for bright outdoor nice days. Or if you're shooting indoors or maybe it was a darker environment, you might have chosen an 800 speed film. Now the reason that you chose the 800 speed film because it was darker was the 800 had much more light sensitivity or light gathering abilities than 100 ISO. It's the same inside a camera. The scale from 100 to 200 to 400 in newer digital cameras can go up into the thousands, the, even the ten thousands. Light sensitivity is the ability for you to get good pictures in dark environments. Remember, the scale goes up. As it gets darker and darker, increase your ISO more and more to allow yourself a good solid exposure and a shake-free sharp picture. To sum up, if the adjustment of aperture and the adjustment of shutter are not enough for you to get a good exposure, then you rely on ISO. You just increase the ISO and that will allow you to get a good image even if you're inside or even if it's a dark environment. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget, light is the foundation of all photography. Light from the outside of your camera goes through your lens and forms an image on the inside of your camera. I talked about the exposure triangle in this video and how ISO, shutter, and aperture all come together in a combination or like a partnership to create the perfect exposure, which in turn gives you an excellent photo. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got a lot of value out of it. Now, there's so much more I'd like to tell you about digital photography. And while I didn't hold anything back, there's only so much I could really share with you in such a short video. And that's why I've recorded an entire video course about incredible photos with your digital camera. So if you'd like to find out more about my digital photography course, you'll find more information right under this video. So take a look at my full digital photography course and I hope to see you there.